You got the touch. You alright folks? Johnny here, aka Roddy Wave 666. Sorry it's been a while. I'm actually gonna do a review today. Gonna to be doing a review on Classics slash generations, I think reveal the shield. I don't know. Anyway, it's a blur. Um before I get into this. Um sorry I haven't done a video. Uh, it's TFN coming up. I'm working like a twat to literally get some shifts off. Um, for those that don't know, I'm a team leader, but my boss, uh, the company I work. So for me to get shifts off, I gotta work like an asshole to get these shifts off. All right, so there we go. Anyway, so anyway, uh, that's about it. So I'm gonna be doing a review of this guy, Blur. Now, I do have a G1 Blur. Uh, sorry, I'm not in my usual surroundings. I'm up at my flat. Uh, no, me and V have not split up. I just have my own place. Um, for the hours I work, it's a lot easier. So, there we go. So, I'm at the flat. I'm doing a review. This dude. Now, Blur in G1 is this, like, weird futuristic spaceship. Um, and he just talks like he's on drugs <laughs> he sounds like a guy that commentates horse racing that's basically what he sounds like which is quite entertaining and I think the only way you could understand him is if you were stoned not stoned, you are on drugs so yeah, so there we go so he appears in that and then he doesn't appear then until Armada in which he's quite a a badass actually he appears in Amada then he appears again in Animated he's actually quite cool in Animated because he is futuristic he sports card again but actually looks pretty sick I don't have the tiny mod my son has it so I gave most of my shit away uh, but there we go so this is like the most recent version I believe and I think they've done a few knockoff versions or whatever but this is my blur that i call blur he's actually quite sick now yes this mold has been used before it was for probably one of my favorite toys out there drift i've lost the sword for it but um they used it that mold for drift uh, which i won't show in this uh, video but anyway so there we go it's a funky car now underneath You've got weapon storage, which makes it look like an exhaust in a way. Let me show you this. He rolls quite nicely. That's about it. Bear with me on my phone. It's a new phone, so just bear with me, folks. Um, so, yeah. He rolls quite well. Um, see through windows. You can see all the bits and pieces inside him. Funky Autobot logo. Uh, I do like the way the paint works. You go from the dark blue to on blue to a sky blue to a white stripe down the middle and obviously with the Autobot insignia there uh, and then two more exhausts there I do believe that there is like a repro label set you can get I don't buy the repro label because I think they're friggin expensive they do make stuff look cool but I don't really invest a lot of time in my Transformers as much as I used to do so there we go so anyway let's transform this big boy first of all take the gun off and I'll come back to that in a second the arms, flip the arms out, get the doors, give them a wiggle, there you go, then that one comes out, uh, get the legs, fold them back, fold them again, they come out like that, that's quite sick, and you're practically already transformed, when you've done that, uh, separate the body, ta -da, face at the panels here flip the panel around show a bit better on this side sorry my apologies it's been a while flip it and slide it across so there you go now these parts here they're on like a little hinge you can see like a little like a little hinge fold it back like so uh, and then there you are now your feet take the foot Pull it a little bit. I always get this bit wrong, so that's it. So you bring the foot 
we'll do it on this side. You bring the foot forward, getting it over that, there you go, and then that foot goes to there, and then that foot goes to there. I love that part, that is a really cool transformation. So there we are, and the arms, you flip it round, you flip, sorry, flip it round, flip it round, ta-da, and ta-da. Right, last but not least, you get the chest, this part here, flip it up, there's a peg, oh, you can see, is it? Oh, this camera's cool, peg there, hole there, pop it in. Sorry, I've got a new, new phone, and the camera is actually quite cool, we're getting in detail quite quickly uh, and then there you go so that ladies and gentlemen is generations or oh, reveal or whatever anyway it's blur and he's actually quite cool I like the way he's got full articulation in the knee that bends hips go out forwards and backwards his arms goes round and round He's got back and forth punching. Uh, his wrists on the ball joint as well, so you can bring that round. Uh, the kibble's not too bad on it. Oops, sorry, I forgot to do this part. Windows fold away. I like that touch. Hold the window away, and there you go. Now, in the drift mold, um, his two doors are like scabbards. You've got two little daggers on his back. You've got a big sword. Uh, they've kept the kind of th that kind of thing with this. Uh, he's got here two holsters, and then in there he's got two guns. So I like that. It's like a wild west kind of look, you know, like a quick draw. Um, but these are like the little pistols, and these are actually quite cool because they've got like little grooves in them, and he holds these pretty well. I've got a friend of mine's got this. He his doesn't, but they're like pegging there. And then, but uh, he's got two pistols, which is actually quite nice. I do like those. Now, if I just stand him there for a second, stay. The other accessory he comes with is like this big blaster rifle, which looks like a Tuscan Raider kind of gun. And what you can do is, there's two little holes there. And the gun that Blur comes with, the little pistols, have like these little group teeth on. And the little teeth go on either side of the uh, rifle. So you can make it look like it's got a three barrel blaster, or if you wanted to, you can do it the alternate way. And you make it look like what I originally thought it was. A sniper rifle. So you've got like a little tripod there. Or bipod there, sorry. And that is absolutely funky. And it also does have um well side holster, so like a side handle, so you can pop that in there. Uh, the right hand on mine slots the gun a little bit better. It's gonna pose him a little bit easier. And there you go. She's got like a little side blasting kind of like look to him. But no, altogether, it's pretty cool. Um, when I have this in pose, I don't actually have the big long rifle uh, on display because, like the blur, uh, in his vehicle transformation, he has like an undercarriage slot like that, where my finger was. This also has the undercarriage slot, but it slots on his back like that, which I think is a brilliant little touch. The fact that he can hold all his weapons. Um, there you go. And then I always display him with the two pistols because I'm a big gun guy and I like big gun as in I like guns, not big gun. I like pistols, so there you go. And that's how I really display him. He is actually very, very cool. Um, he doesn't have light piping. He's got like blue bits in his eyes. Can you see that? Oh, there you go. He's got blue bits in his eyes. A lot of detail on him. I absolutely love how the feet go. I think the feet are very, very, very cool. 
guns are cool a lot of detail on them absolutely awesome awesome figure um just a little bit before we get um i finish um it is tfn in a few weeks time really looking forward to going back because this time i'm going for the weekend so i can really enjoy myself because last time i didn't um i'm looking forward to seeing all the boys like nolsey and Sa and um sam i can't remember what your bloody youtube name is so bear with me boys also the other guys uh not really the crowd because i say hello to you but i'm not really in the crowd with all the other lads but um Nolsey and Sam, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys. Gel as well, Mr. Wolfgang. Uh, and I understand the Collector 75, Mr. Graham, is turning up. Uh, I'll be seeing you guys as well. Uh, bear with me that day uh, because I am training at the moment for um, a cage fight, which I hope to be having next year, but I'm already in training to get back into that, so I will be... Um, having practice before I come down that weekend and if you see me standing on my own I'll probably be doing press ups I just it's something I do a bit insane that way so that's why we're getting we're getting the muscles back we're getting hench but there we are um there we are um another little thing is soon my eldest son will be coming on to do a video uh, on my channel and it would be, really would be appreciated if some people give him some good feedback about how he does. Um, I'm not looking for sympathy or anything like that. He does have um, special needs. And I, I really would appreciate if people give him structural criticism, not arsehole criticism. Because if arsehole criticism happen, it will knock his confidence. And I'm not being funny. We need as many TFN reviewers as we possibly can. And now my lad Levi is bloody intelligent when it comes to Transformers. Okay, so yeah, he will be coming on and doing reviews. He doesn't know that yet, I'm just announcing it. But he has wanted to get in to doing the reviews. So it really would be appreciated if you guys give him as much of a push as possible. Um, and mind your language with him a little bit, please, Mr. Gerard. But no, that's, that's a joke. But no, um, I'm looking forward to seeing all you motherfuckers. Shit, he's going to watch this video. I swore twice. Sorry. Sorry, son. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys all at TFN. Uh, Mr. Tatmus Prime, I've done a video, so get off my case. Anyway, boys, me, Dwarf Pawn Star 666. I know I'm Roddy Wave 666, but you all know me as the Dwarf Pawn Star. Uh, back doing my thing. Uh, see you in a bit, guys. Bye-bye.